Hi, I'm Ryan from Dayton Ventilation. Today I would like to share a comparison about variable speed fans versus traditional belt drive fans. Dayton's variable speed EC motors are quickly becoming known for their energy efficiency and speed adjustability. And for many applications, those advantages are often making variable speed direct drive fans a better choice than belt drive fans. Historically, for power roof ventilators, most specifying engineers probably opted for a belt driven fan. Why? Relatively easy fan speed adjustment for final balancing, economical first cost, and well, habit. Belt driven fans have been a good choice for decades and in some situations are still a good alternative. With the recent development of Dayton's variable speed EC motors, these direct drive fans are becoming much more popular than belt drive fans. Fans equipped with variable speed motors are even easier to speed adjust than belt drive fans. They are also much more efficient, require less maintenance, and have about the same first cost. Let's take a closer look. Here we have two fans of the same size, design, and aerodynamic performance. One is a standard belt drive configuration, and the other features Dayton's variable speed EC motor. Let's focus on the energy consumption, measured in watts, of these two fans. At the high end of the speed range, 1500 RPM, the belt drive fan consumes 640 watts of electricity, while the variable speed EC motor fan draws 480 watts. That's a 25% reduction in energy usage. This difference can be attributed to two things, the higher efficiency of the variable speed motor and the losses of the belt and pulley drive combinations. The savings are even more dramatic at lower speeds. After the fan speed adjustments have been made to 1000 RPM, notice the variable speed motor consumes 180 watts and the belt drive fan consumes 330 watts, an amazing 45% energy savings. On top of the huge energy savings, the variable speed motor has an extremely broad range of speeds, from full speed down to 20% of full speed. With a belt drive fan, you would need to purchase additional belts and pulleys to have the same speed range. And, did you notice how easy it was to adjust the performance of the variable speed fan? Simply adjust the dial and it's done. Did you know you don't have to buy a new unit if you need to replace the motor on your belt drive fan? or would prefer the efficiency and convenience of a direct drive fan? Dayton has a retrofit kit for belt drive fans designed to convert to an energy efficient variable speed direct drive fan using the existing housing. Let me demonstrate how easy it is. This power pack includes a UL approved variable speed motor with a motor mounted potentiometer, support pan, and backward inclined aluminum wheel all in one piece. To change the unit, it will only require about 30 minutes. First, remove the four screws from the motor cover. Then remove the four screws on the support pan. Next, remove the wind band. Take the existing drive assembly out. You will no longer need any of this assembly. Put the new power pack in place, lining up the mounting holes. Put the wind band in place. And reinsert the screws into the support pan. Reconnect the power. 
Set the speed using the speed controller on the motor. Put the motor cover back on and reinsert the four screws. Now your fan is operational and only routine maintenance is required. Another benefit in retrofitting versus replacing the whole unit is that you don't need to worry about disturbing the roof membrane because you're only replacing internal components. This concludes our variable speed fan demonstration. For more information, check out www.granger.com or www.solutionsforair.com.